Hello, my math independent study student. In this video, we are going to factor trino trinomial with leading coefficient is not 1. So, look at the first example. The leading coefficient is 5 because 5 is the number in front of the variable x with the highest degree. Now, for the second example, the leading coefficient is negative 6. Again, negative 6 is the integer in front of the variable variable x for the highest degree. So again, the, the first step we are going to do is we go, we go ahead and get a square. And inside the square, we are going to go ahead and divide into four small smaller square. We put the, le the leading term first, 5x square. And we put the last term at the in the bottom right corner of the 2x2 two two box. So now we go ahead and multiply the first and the last term, so that will give us 45x squared. Then we go ahead and try to find the two factor of 45x squared that will, that when we add them up, that will give us negative 18x. So first of all, x, x squared, the factor of x squared, x times x. Now next, we, we will try to find two two numbers that multiply equal four, 45 and that upper to be equal negative 18. Now since the sum is negative 18, so it means that um, these two numbers, either both of them will be negative or one of them have to be ne 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 negative. So one thing right here, 45, so the factor of, four, of 45 is 5 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that will give me negative 15 times negative 3. And if, I add, if we add them up, negative 15 and negative 3, so that will give us negative 18. So therefore, the number, so we put it here, be negative 15x and ne negative 3. So now we go ahead and start with the road. So on the first row, 5x squared and negative 15x, we look for the common factors. So they both have x at the common factors. 5 and negative 15, so there'll be 5 at the common factor. So the, great, the greatest common factor for row 1, we get 5x. Now for row 2, we have ne negative 3, I forgot to put the x. Negative 3x and 9, so the, great, the greatest common factor will be negative negative 3. Now I'm going to show you an another way that you'll be able to fill in um, the two number missing like uh, the two terms that's missing here. If you don't want to find a factor for your column, you can do this way. You, you can text each one of the term inside the box divided by the greatest common factor outside. Um, of the row, so if I do 5x squared divided by 5x, so the 5 is gone, become 1, x squared divided by x, that gives me x, so therefore I'm going to go ahead and put x here, now you, you can check it again, you can do the next one, you can check with negative 3, x divided by negative 3, it also gives you x. Oh. I mean to highlight this. So, at at you know that you don't you both see x because if you take each one of the term inside the box divide by the greatest common factor outside, that will give you exactly the same quotient. So let's do the next one. So now you take negative fifteen x divide by 5x, then um, your quotient will be ne negative number x divided by x at once, it's gone, so 15 divided by 5 should be negative 3, so I put it here negative 3. Now you can, you can check on the next one, so you take 9 divided by negative 3, and this also gives you negative 3. So again, you see exactly the same quotient, that's where we put them here. So I'll just show you another way that you can do it. So therefore, we can conclude that our factor is um, 5x 
minus 3 and x minus 3. So by by this time, you, you don't have to write them as a sum. I mean, you can write 5x plus negative 3, but I'm going to go ahead and do it much faster. So when you have a plus sign and a minus sign, you can go ahead and simplify this. And let's move on to problem number 2. So again, the first step we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and get a square. And inside the square, we divide into four smaller square. Then we put the first term, negative 6x square, on the top left of our 2 by 2 box. And then the last term, ne negative 25 in the bo bottom right of our 2 by 2 box. So now, the next step we're going to do is that we're going to Mo um, multiply these two numbers. So you think about negative 6x squared times negative 25. That will give us neg um, positive 150x squared. Now you're going to go ahead and find the factor of these two numbers. And you have to make sure that the factor add them up has to be equal to negative 25x, which is the middle num number here. So, of course, x squared is just x times x. So, what 150, we can, yeah, we can factor them as negative 15 times negative 10. So, that will give, give us uh, 150 if we, mul if we multiply. Now, if we add them up, that will give us negative 25. And then, of course, the term, which is the light term, which is x. So, therefore, I can put these two numbers here. So, negative 15 x and negative 10x. Now let's start with the row now. So for row for row num number one, you so you can see right here that they both have neg negative one and a common factor. So let's look at the next one. They but they also have x and a common factor. Now six and fifteen. So that would um that would be three. So therefore our grade our greatest common factor will be ne negative 3x for row 1. Let's look at row number 2. So we have negative 10x, negative 25. So our greatest common factor will be just negative 5. Now let's go ahead and find the two terms that we're missing right here, which is uh, for our column. So let's look. Let's go ahead and up, apply the trick that I told you. So um, you're welcome to find the greatest common factor, or you're going to take the number inside, 6x squared, divide by the greatest common factor, negative 3x. So 6 divided by negative 3 to give us negative 2. x squared divided by x give us x. So therefore, we'll put here negative 2x. And of course, you can check the next one, which will give you the same thing. So you do negative... Oh, I'm so sorry. This is negative 6x squared. So therefore, our answer was just positive. The quotient is just positive. Okay. Or you can check the next, the next one. You take uh, negative 10x divided by ne negative 5, and that will give you 2x. Let's look at the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to column number 2. Just negative 15x divided by negative 3x. So the x is gone. Negative divided by negative will be positive to be 5. So I'm going to put this number here, 5. And of course you can multiply to check, make sure that you see um, the number inside the box. So therefore we can conclude that our factor will be negative 3x minus 5 times 2x plus Five. This will be the conclusion for this video. Make sure that you write out your own summary. And I will see you in class. Goodbye.